So I think I'm going to do the uh, the luster. And the reason I put these baggies on my uh, Mod Podge like this, it's just easier to get this lid off once, once you start using it and you crack it open. It's a little trick of mine. We're going to peel the back of these off because we don't want this plastic on there. So all you're going for is the fabric. So strip your leaves. And I think these will look good together just as accents. So we're just going to strip these off. So you don't even need to cut them down because they're just going to strip right off. And where you can get a lot of these leaves is when you're doing your floral arrangements. Just save your leaves. Don't throw them away when you have extras because you never know what you can use them for. So just strip these down just to the fabric. I could have had this all done ahead of time, but then I wouldn't have been able to show you how to do it. There we go again. So the first thing I want to do, I, thought I, I like to do the neck first. So we're going to put the neck on. And I decided on this one, I'm just going to do a little simple ribbon around the neck. And Mod Podge is super easy because it dries clear. This one's actually going to have like a little um, gloss to it. So I am just going to take, he's at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And you can pour your Mod Podge into a container if you want. I just throw it like this. I just take it right out of the container. If it gets messy, no worries, no big deal. And I put a base of Mod Podge on there. Hold this down. And then what I do is I bend it like that, like a little twist on it. Bring it around. Trying to do it where you can see it sometimes makes it fun for me because it's not really how, I, how you're going to do it at home. You're going to hold it to what's comfortable to you and just wrap it and do it. But I need to do it where you can see what I'm doing. So, and then just twist, twist and twist and twist. See, twist. And remember what I say, if it looks kind of funky when you're first doing it, that's okay because you're gonna bling it out and bring it all together. And you just take it down as far as you wanna take it down on the neck. For me, I'm pretty happy with that. And I'm going to take just a pin here and poke that right into the other fabric to hold it and cut this like so. And now I'm just going to Mod Podge over that just to seal it in. And I go with the direction that the wreath, that the, wreath, that the ribbon is wrapped on. So it just secures it a little bit more. Just wrap that around and smooth that on. So if you can see that, that is awesome, awesome. We are moving right along here. And if you're OCD and you're feeling like you have to get this perfect, you don't because you're going to embellish this and decorate this too. So that's what all those little embellishments and the decorations, you can cover up the little bits of imperfections. Makes it kind of fun to do that. Has started to move forward again. So we're doing the fall colors on this. And we're actually going to Mod Podge this whole bottle so you don't have to worry about it being perfect. But see how easy that is just to put that on? For me, I'm thinking um, I want the lights to show through and that just covered up too much of the lights. So we're just laying these on. I like these better. You'll be able to see the lights coming through. Yep, yep. And I have this little sponge here where you just go dab. That's why I wasn't too worried about that. Um, 
getting all runny because I knew I was going to do this with it. We're going to dab this on. And we're going to do a few coats of this. See how that's going on like that? Pretty cool. And remember what I say too when you're doing these. Um, when you're first starting to work on any type of project, it always kind of look, looks weird, funky when you first start. And then it comes together when you stay with it. So don't, don't worry about it being perfect to begin with. See the magic in your eyes as you're working on it. Visualize what it's going to look like when you're done. <laughs> I did another one like this for a friend and I put um, rhinestones and stuff on it. I really embellished that part. And then the leaf may want to come off. I'm just going, I'm out of here. And you can add more leaves if you want. Once you're done with this and it dries, if you want to paint on it, you can do that as well. But that's just the Mod Podge. We're also going to put a bow on here and embellish it so we're not done. We're just doing this piece here, getting the leaves on. So you just work at that and keep on popping it down. And just keep on popping it down. The key is putting the leaves on with the curvature of the bottle. That way they'll delay. And this is one of those ones where anybody can do this. So if you're not artistic and you really can't draw, you can mod podge your, your leaves onto it for sure. So as that's drying just a smidge, I'm going to set that here where you can still see it as we're working on it. And we are going to embellish it a little bit. Kind of speed up the process a little bit for you for you got here all day. But you do want to go heavy on the Maj Podge on the leaves. Really get those tips down in there and flatten that down. You pick these up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. <laughs> I think these leaves, well, actually, I don't know where these leaves came from, to be honest. They either came from Michael's, Joanne's, or the Dollar Tree. That's where I get most of my stuff. But see how it's giving that frosting a look? It's pretty cool. So I'm going to put that there. We are going to tie a ribbon on here. Super easy to do. I'm not doing a fancy, fancy bow like I've done, you know, on a lot of my other shares. And here's why: we're going to put flowers on here, and this is going to be more of a simple share. Um, versus a more complex share. So this is a real simple bow. Simple little bow. See it coming together now a little bit, huh? Kind of cool. Kind of cool. And I always cut my ribbon longer than what I really want. Because I, remember what I say, you can always cut it up, but you can't put it back. Succulents are really big right now, but I don't like this green on here because we're doing more of a fall. So we're gonna take this green off. Are we gonna throw this away? No, because we're gonna save it for something else. <laughs> so we can do a little green on here. So on here, 
All you have to do is shove that up underneath that tie. Okay. Bam. We're going to glue gun that down as soon as my glue gun heats up. In the meanwhile, I'm going to continue. Takes quite a bit to get these um, coats, to get these leaves to go down as flat as you want them to go down because the bottle is curved, but they will do it. And remember that little trick I showed you in the beginning, wet your leaves and they'll be more pliable. Wet them, let them dry just a smidge, just a smidge, and then they'll be more pliable. And make sure you get the Mod Podge underneath the tips of the leaves as well. That way it'll grab the bottle. So if they're not going, like how this one's not wanting to go. I'm going to put a little Mod Podge underneath that and then smoosh it down. And see how that made it go down? <laughs> if you can see that, that's good because it's really hard to see through the Mod Podge. It's all frosty. It's like, it's so frosty. And see how they're starting to lay flat now? We've gone over this several times so they can get it to that point. Make it so do what I want you to do. Please. I see how that's pretty, how it gives that little frost. And I've said that before, but I really like that. I'm going to undo this for a second. We're going to tie the bow on top of after we glue it because it's, it's not cooperating. And then I also want to show you this. So while this is drying a little bit, I am going to run these in to show you what these lives likes look like. And I'm actually going to turn it on for you can see as we're doing it. And remember when this dries, you're going to be able to see these lights even better. That will be in there as well. Okay, this is going to dry pretty quick here. I'm going to let that dry a little bit for you can get the full visual of it, but it's basically going to be that with the leaves behind it. So, while that's drying, I know that I want this in there, and I'm going to cut this down a little bit, trim these down a little bit. So what we're going to do is just take the glue gun and put a dollop of glue here because you're going to cover this up when you tie it. I'm going to lay this on here because I, I really like this succulent and succulents are very popular right now. So I do want that succulent in there and I'm just going to hold that for a second. Remember you have these little styluses I've told you about to keep you from burning your fingers. You can use that to hold that down and really get aggressive and hold that in there. Glue guns um, dry pretty fast, so it doesn't take that long. You just have to be patient. Just hold that down there. Press it hard. Keep it in there. I'm going to go over that again. Because I want to add some leaves. And I'm going to use the leaves that I'm already using on my bottle just to tie that all together. And it's like, ooh, ah. <laughs> Let's tie our leaves together here. a doll up there and push this up in here, right there. So that's coming together and it's starting to dry so you can actually see what's going on there. I'm holding these up because I don't want these to be glued with the glue gun. You can actually add that ribbon on after the fact if you wanted to. 
and I'm just going through and pushing these down as I'm working on the other. Normally what you're gonna do at home is just let your bottle dry and then embellish it, but because I'm trying to show you everything in one setting, I have to just kind of play with it and make it happen. But I would say do your Mod Podge first, let it dry, and then embellish it. So Mod Podge first, let it dry, then go back and embellish it. That's easier. <laughs> easier than, than doing it the way I'm doing it. little don't be afraid to get in there and just really embellish it and have fun with it make it pretty make it fun You're like wow that looks so different than when you first started <laughs> I see how they say I see I see pe I see st I see people I I see crafts. I'm going to lay this down underneath and I want to pop this in there just because I just see where that would look in there. So you get in there, you do your little embellishments. So Mod Podge first. That's going to give you an idea how it's going to dry for you have a and it's going to dry like that with all the leaves on it. So it's really going to be pretty when it's all when it's all dry. But that's it. Bam. You can, um, I'm letting this dry before I tie the, the ribbon because I don't want to pull that all apart when I, when I dry the ribbon. So I'm letting that glue sink in a little bit. But that's cute for a little um, Thanksgiving centerpiece. Put two or three, two or three of these down. You get these lights on Amazon, super um, good price. If you look in the links below, I'll, I'll drop that link in there. I do have a, I actually, um, I, set up a, I set up a site on Amazon where you can go see the products I use. I finally did that. Um, I figured it was time. I don't get any money for um, any of the products that you buy off of Amazon at this time. I don't because I'm not monetized. But I do have an affiliated link where um, I can share my products with you, what, where I'm buying them from and stuff. I'm working on trying to get that with Michael's. I'm not there yet, but you can look at my link. It'll pop you right onto my Amazon site. There's a um, shopping list on there for the different um, shares I do. And yeah, there you go. And then all these little things like this, Dollar Tree for $1. And the ribbon and stuff I pick up at Michael's usually after the holidays. I want this to dry for you for you can see what it's going to look like. And you can buy these lights in clear as well as the different colors as well as like lavender or yellow or pink. So just kind of like I mean, they're the cork lights and the link that I use actually gives me extra batteries with them. I think it's about $10 for like a dozen, if even that. It might be 10 for 10 or whatever, but they're about a dollar each. So well worth it. And then they come with the extra batteries, the link I use. So check out Hallie Osborne Jolets is how I have it on Amazon. Plus I will put the link down below. Then I'm gonna bling bling it a little bit more.